going out? Uh, oh, well, Pants Iron Hall, it's going to change in this week's movie, which introduces us to one of Universal Horror's most memorable characters, and I don't mean the werewolf. Where, where, where? Where were you? Never mind. I'm talking about the character of Larry Talbot, exclusively portrayed in the classic films by Lon Chaney Jr., the tragic figure who is marked by a curse. <laughs> Such language. Not that kind of curse. This is the origin story where Larry returns to his ancestral home in England to restore his relationship with his father and take his rightful place at the family estate and he even in a somewhat illegal peeping tom manner spots a local female he can fixate on so his life is good right wrong no you bet because one moonlit night larry encounters a woman being attacked by a strange beast and during his attempt to save her he is bitten Ooh. then things really start to get hairy when right where the attack took place instead of finding a dead beast Authorities find a man with his head bashed in. That's gotta hurt. Yeah, so Larry may be guilty of involuntary man's laughter. Huh? Oh, sorry. I misread the teleprompter. Involuntary manslaughter. <laughs> <laughs> and to top that off, an elderly gypsy woman tells Larry that the bite he received in the fracas... He was bitten in the fracas? Wash your mouth out. He's dirty. That bite transferred a deadly curse to him, and when the moon becomes full, he will now transform into the bloodthirsty beast who will forever lurk in the Universal Monsters Hall of Fame, the Wolfman. Did you hear me say you could paw me? I don't think so. <clears throat> this monster origin brings us horror great Bela Lugosi, the Invisible Man's Claude Rains, and the queen of movie gypsies, Maria Ospinskaya, plus possibly one of the most famous poems in horror history. <clears throat> Even a man who is pure of heart and says his prayers by night may become a wolf when the wolf mane blooms and his underwear is too tight. Woo! Had your head in the weed whacker again, I'm this, sir. Yes, I did. Get set for the wizardry of the wolf man, and you know, he does seem similar to a more contemporary character that we've become familiar with. Think about it. There's magic charms. Uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh. An attack that leaves him with an unusual scar. Uh, oh, beautiful. <laughs> Don't you see who he is? He's Harry Paul. Oh. <laughs> Harry Potter, created by J.K. Growling, like his pal Ron Weasley, Weasel Small, furry animal, his gal gal Hermione, and you just call me Dumbledore. Anyway, hey, that's our movie, Harry Potter and the Half-Wit Prince. Here comes the original Wolfman, and one more chicken dancing.